you're concentrating, so your your tongue comes out of this hand. Is that? Yeah. Peace is Barlio. Hey, welcome back to yeah, another yeah, behind yeah. the scenes. Okay, so this yeah. week we are covering um, David Ortega's it. film, yeah, yeah. R- okay. The Runaway. Yeah, I think it is. And so of course, The Runaway yeah. is yeah. interesting yeah. for okay. a couple right. different so reasons because not only yeah, is it filmed in a different okay. location, uh, this is actually okay. filmed at Rolling. my house. Camera? It starred my daughter, Everly Evangeline, who. Uh, just so you know, is a six-year-old child, so we worked with our youngest actor yet. And uh, it was a long day that... This is 23. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Worked out well. I think uh, it's going to be a really great film, but let's check out the the behind-the-scenes for this film. But I'm good. The vision is there. (laughs) See. 1-23, take one. This was filmed on March 8th. You want to be in center or do you want it offset? Uh, Offset a little bit. Right there, yeah. Right there. Set. Okay. Action. Evan, you're struggling. Um, Jump a little bit like you're trying to close it. There you go. A couple times. Jump, jump, zip. Okay. Cut. That's good. I can use that. I can use it. Okay, so as we just saw, that scene had boom, but he's filming with MOS so that he could give direction to his little actor. You ready to go back in real quick? There's Marty who's filming. Looks like Jason's our DP. Braulio's holding boom. Marty's probably first AC, assistant camera. And... Uh, we know that Sophie is assistant director. Thing, there, there's an old adage about filmmaking that uh, they have they have said is never work with two types of things, and those are never work with children or animals. And why do you think they, they say that? Well, they say that for one very specific reason. They're unpredictable. You never know how they're going to do. Uh, a six-year-old is go okay. even if they're the best here, direct, uh, right actor in the world we'll they're going to take like direction yeah, but then also oh, we're subject to <laughs> maybe not okay. being the most rational beings on earth because yeah. they're what? more I mean, emotional or you they're chi- you know they're chi- you children right. same with dogs or animals right like you never you you know you think they're trained then they're going to work but when things start running Things can go crazy. Okay, we can see that here we are set up in the hallway. Sophie's there with the monitor. Jason's uh, seemingly getting, uh, doing a hot swap, it looks like. A hot swap, of course, is where he's going to plug in his camera to AC and change the battery. And then we see Hieronimo is back there. This is the one of the few times that he's allowed in my house. Apparently he went through a lot of my uh, sock drawers and stuff while I was there, just checking things out. I'm a father of three children, uh, and Everly is my youngest six. Uh, I have an eight-year-old son and a 13-year-old daughter. They, of course, are... uh, um, Charlotte, my oldest, has acted a couple times. Uh, stand-ins playing younger versions, but uh, um, Everly here is the one that's most interested in filmmaking or and or acting. This is her actual room, and we ended up uh, going in there, and uh, she shares a room with her older brother, so we took apart his bed, and uh, we're able to set dress uh, the room a little bit to make it more comfortable about she's a really big personality so and she always is a talker so good good person Like stand it up next to you, like with the wheels. Uh, 
You know what I mean? Like vertical. I, I see. I never yeah. see that. There you go. Perfect. So what you're going to do, Everly? I put it up. Beautiful. <laughs> Mr. Ortega, you can hear, is working really well. Again, he has an actor that's inexperienced and a child, so he is just being kind and working with his actor to get the best performance. Definitely t working with someone here, definitely taking a lot more effort. Looks like there's, st we're still all in the process of starting. It looks like we lost our sync of our um, I think so. We'll see where, where slate. We're so we're resyncing our time code. 38, this is called jamming. I'm sorry. Do you want it to be? That's good right there. Mm -hmm. And then, back, yeah. Everly, you're going to kind of look straight, but not at the camera. That's going to be next to you. Here. Like, like a little towards. Yeah, mm -hmm. like look underneath. Almost got to see what it looks like. Look. look right here. Oh, she looks so cute. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so you're going to look there already. I can't really tell right now that you're holding your. Okay, right there. Because I could get lower. Yeah. I think we need to, I need to lower angle. I'm sorry. Or lower. Or do you want me to go higher? No, lower is better. Good. Lower is better. Lower need to get lower just means we're lowering the camera on the tripod. Okay. So, of course, uh, one of the problems with shooting on location is uh, you got to choose the best and ideal location. Again, uh, David Ortega's film is about a little girl in her bedroom. So being able to set dress a room to look like a kid's room is easier when you have kid stuff and you're a kid and it's your actual room. So shooting on location is smart here. But of course, it does come with limitations in that the space might... Uh, Excuse me. The space might not necessarily be, uh, you know, specifically designed for uh, your film shoot. Set. Action. Take one step. Stop. Sigh. Look at your bed. Okay. I'm good with that. That'll work. Yeah. So obviously, with David. Uh, talking now, there the boom something. is useful in some situations but anywhere he's talking he's gonna have to fully so what was what was interesting about david's script is there's really only two or three lines of dialogue hey look who that the guy is so it's this action right evie can i can i put your thumb yeah get in just just go over for a little bit so what? This is here. I'm not gonna move no, it. No, she can move it. She will move okay, it. She'll move it's it. It's jump cut in time. So then it's then it's her like. Yeah, trying to pull oh, the bed. Falling over. Yep. And then so she is just grabs it here? the. I think right here is a lot better of the shot. Do we yeah. want to go a, a high angle, looking down at this? Action? That might be interesting. I that might be better. Yes, yeah. I like that better. I just that's better. Yeah. So uh, I was able to show up at Good. some point this Friday to help out and um, I know you've practiced this one, Everly. Yeah, I great. haven't practiced it before, but I know oh, really? how to do you it. Just, you just did it like you practiced it a bazillion times. No, I haven't. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was a bazillion times. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I keep pushing. No, it's fine. Uh, David, do you want me to uh, 
move with her? No. And she falls? Okay. No, this was a high, slightly wider angle so we can see her fall. Uh, okay, well, uh, she just fell down frame in this shot. Then. Yep, Cause... that's fine. That's fine. Are you going to tilt down a little bit, Nathan? It, that's... Um, I think that we're ready, so... Then you will have to follow her a little bit, because yeah. then she's going to get up and grab the pillow. So you don't want to see her face? Um, I'd like to. I would pretend to do it right now just so you can see yeah. what the frame is. Evie, show us what you're going to do. So pull the bed a little bit. <laughs> get up and get the pillow. Because I, I almost think that we should be in the exact same spot then. The exact same spot? Yeah, we, Where? what we did last shot. When really? it was like handheld back okay. to Matt. Because we might be able to... Uh, Just uh, making a decision on what type of shot to do. So we could constantly move the camera um, at different positions, correct? And we could be able to face towards her. Yeah. So like we, we could be able to be fine of pushing Yeah, that's not going to be an uh, issue, I don't think. Okay. I was just worried about that. Yeah. Jason is just confirming that they're not going to break yeah, the 180 degree rule. Is, yeah. At this point, yeah. To be able to see the bed a little bit more. Are we seeing the cord of the god ox in the background? We are seeing a C stand. Oh. So either we did see that in one shot, so you have to push in on one. Okay. Um, but we could cover it with clothing or something like that. Which we would have never had in there, though, right? That would hit continuity. Uh, or is that the only time we'd see? Wait, has been? That you've seen that angle, right? We would have never seen There's that only, angle before, though. It's been one time, but I try to frame it as best as I could, so you're going to have to punch in on one shot. Okay. I can shoot through a wood or um, Just, I think having her fall out of frame is good. Then we don't have to worry about moving it with her. Yeah. And then she gets up and just she walks over and grabs her pillow. This way? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, so, uh, that frame right there. So, just to turn it, just uh, put it flush in that corner right there. There you go. Okay. Um, move that leg a little bit more uh, this way. This one? No, that leg. That way. No, there. yeah, just pick up the whole thing and then just. There you go. Okay, good. It's still in the shot. Yeah. Hey, Evie, do the mattress thing again, just so we can... I thought it felt a little Dutch for a second there. No, I didn't know if that was intentional or something else. No, I'm still an amateur. <laughs> okay. Little Dutch, they're talking about leveling the camera, which Jason... You know, moving around, sometimes you have to check to make sure the camera is level. Evie, flip the pillow uh, uh, other way. Well, camera... Speed. Where there's two beats, like one. Set. Okay, look at the bed, Miha. And okay, remember you just looked at the bed, mm -hmm. so now you're gonna start pulling it. Okay, action. Start pulling. Good. Cool. Okay, get up real quick and go get that pillow. Okay, I want to try it one more time. Keep rolling. Okay. Put the pillow back where it was. Okay, let's try it again. Uh, and just start pulling on the bed. Pulling the bed. Pull, pull, pull one big and fall. Okay, good. Get up, get up real quick, and get that pillow. Good. Now turn towards me and come towards me. Don't look at the camera. Don't look at the camera. Good. Okay, cut. I want to see that one real quick. Play back. Yep. I want to see where you're looking, honey. Shouldn't her uh, backpack be on? No, she took it off at this point. Okay. It's easier. And that's why it's a jump cut in time. Yeah. Sorry. The backpack's in the suitcase right now, right? We're gonna have her wearing it. Oh, okay. That was 22B, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's pull. I like that fall. Good job. Does she look at the camera when she turns? No, she doesn't actually. You're good, kiddo. That was good. Now we just need the insert shot in the closet of the umbrella and jacket. Well, no. At the, well, at this point, it's, it's one of those... Like, so you can see he was... Uh, uh, David was doing playback in that last shot to make sure that everything was right. They were checking eyeline, making sure that you have a actor who isn't looking into the lens of the camera. Okay, so she's grabbing a coat. Yeah. 
to wear. So we made everything, you just gotta pull stuff out. Pull the jacket down, pull the umbrella out, okay? Four different locations in the house, four different scenes, basically. The majority of the film takes place in this bedroom. Well, you're just gonna be in front of it. Going over. Yeah, right there. Oop. Okay, so good. That's what I wanted to see. So you're gonna Ready to go? Yeah. Okay, uh, let's roll audio. Rolling. And roll camera. Speed. Speed seven. Uh, shot one. Big one. Uh, Chelsea, we see you. Sorry. <laughs> Chelsea, of course, is filming our BTS, uh, and so it can't be open because she's coming back. Chelsea to needs to. But I'm, I'll I'll move it just a hair, like that. I think that's better. Okay. Action. Go. And after you do it, start coming to the door, okay? And action. Get the umbrella. Put it behind you so we can see it. Good. And the jacket. Good. Now come towards the door. Cut. That was it. That was the one. You know what that means. You did so good. You did so good. Okay. Now we're going to do the thing where you're coming out of the out of the bedroom, okay? okay? All right. After this, you can get some pizza. Do you like pizza? Yeah, yeah. Good. We're going to do that as soon as we come out. Okay? Pepperoni pizza. Yeah, pepperoni. That's my favorite, too. All right, last shot before lunch. Let's get this. There we go. Everyone's excited. Last shot before lunch. Do we want the light off? I think we can go stop. Yeah, we can turn off. Uh, it's the, yeah, right there. All right. So the battery. You can see the rest of her crew out here in the my downstairs family room. Look at that shirt Braulio decided to wear to scare my child. Yep. All right, we're zooming in, seeing our uh, our the F8 and the audio equipment. You can see all the equipment that got put into my house. Oh, we saw maybe potentially. Uh, I was, uh, got a glimpse of the shrocks that I was wearing. That's a cool shot just there with the door opening like that. Okay, I want her to come poke her face out like we're going to do for the shot. No, they want you to look. Just come look out the door. You can see him wearing the Gav uh, film shirt. Every single major, if you declare your major to be film and television grant, uh, will give you one of those blue shirts that I'm wearing. Just a good benefit for anyone who wants to be a, a film major is you get a free shirt. Yeah, so here's what we're going to do. We'll help with like crouch because that was yes. already funny. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. Yeah, put that down. Okay, so that's going to be right behind you. Yeah. Well, what you're going to do, Everly, you're going to open the door. Then you come out and start. I have to say, uh, behind the scenes, I'm always like looking at myself and uh, this is the first time I've really seen my own elbows uh, you don't really even like get to see your elbows uh, just as a person so I gotta say my elbows look kind of old perfect you are framed up are you almost ready Jason I'm still working on focus right now okay yeah take your time <clears throat> all right uh, roll audio Wait, show it. Uh, this is uh, so sorry. Hold for me. Um, scene two, shot one. Wait, hold on. Hold for boom. Yeah, hold for yeah, boom. Yeah, the boom fell. It was interesting uh, about this uh, production. Uh, when first presented the shot list, uh, David had something like, I don't know, 
50 shots planned. Uh, now, in a lo in a single day, that's an extremely large amount of... That's very ambitious, especially when you consider you're using an actor who's six-year-old. And uh, we did have a long day here, but uh, we were able to have a really, really great um, experience because uh, all in all, Everly... Uh, gave a really good performance. I think this script will end up being pretty good. Or this movie will end up pr being pretty good because it is a good script. It was well planned and well shot. Rolling. Roll camera. Finding a child actor is really hard because acting isn't a natural thing and especially for a child um, you never know. What is this, Door City? Cut. <laughs> you didn't have anywhere to go, did you? <laughs> Came out. Yeah, All right. mic's visible. Was it visible the whole time? Well, well, no, just at the end. Right at the end? Yeah, down. just at the end. We're good. I'm going to kind of, I'm going to apply everything else. You start coming out and we're good. Good job so that everyone knows who the star is. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's bring it back in. But should she, like, she go where she is to, like, surpass the camera at least? Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. rolling sound with everything, but, like, she's not talking to anybody. It's, it's, it's not ADR. It's voiceover. Yeah. So. Action. Okay, cut. You look at the camera, Eddie, that time. <laughs> that was harder. It's okay, babe. It's okay. That's all right. Let me do it one I know more you're time. tired. You're almost done. You're doing so good. Okay, start getting all the stuff together. Cut. That's good. I like it. Oh, That'll work. That was cool. I did like that. You came into focus. That's so good. How you feeling? All right. Look at that. Are you hungry now? Yeah. Did you get that backpack off? It's so heavy. I'm gonna put my hands on it. Just click. Uh, just click there. Yeah. Two times. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, we've moved on to the next scene. We had to move everything from downstairs to upstairs. There you go. Representation. Oh, and I get to act in this scene. Taking all the gaps. The Jerry's and they're named after Geronimo. No, I didn't know that. What's your last name? Grant Garcia. That's how he's Jerry Garcia. Nobody calls me Jerry except for Tim. He's Jerry Garcia. Nobody. Yeah, that's Geronimo's favorite nickname, of course, is Jerry. So if you see him, you can oh, call him Jerry. Cool, except for it was one. Yeah, it was this yours, right? Wrong. Yeah. No. Yeah. Did Tim tell you to spell my name wrong on purpose? No. I assume so. Yes. <laughs> was it yeah, spelled wrong? Wait. Wait. Was spelled wrong in a few. No, not. So her. we need somebody no. to. But then I've heard Geronimo only. Oh. Okay, right there, this is interesting. We're trying to make it look like it's nighttime in this room. So uh, Grant got that, which is called a flag, to put in front of uh, the, um, the window so we get less light in here so it's it's nighttime. Now, of course, what well, you can't see because it's so bright, but uh, there is a shade in front of that window that reduces the light, but it's just so bright um, that we had to put a flag in front of anywhere. And we did see that they walk through kind of a curtain that was outside of the door. Well, that was to stop the ambient light from outside uh, because the scene is supposed to be at nighttime so this is all the things that you have to consider when you're doing nighttime <laughs> also not to mention uh, Grant switched uh, you know Grant's wearing the same shirt Grant and I we don't usually dress the same it just uh, when we do dress the same it's coincidental um, but it does happen <laughs> on occasion 
think so. Okay. We left it empty in case you wanted to do whatever you wanted to put on there. Let's see what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the problem is, yeah. Well, I'm going to hold. The, <laughs> the, the, the door's got to close behind her. And I'm, I'll hold this close so there's less light here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, the lighting, especially when you're trying to um, figure out, is door, for in, sure something. Yeah. Okay. You know what went up, yeah. So is that better? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Just give them what you think it should be, Sorry, and then. Uh, you, you talk about that. Yeah, yeah let's right move there. the light. Uh, I don't. You don't see good, any shadow. Yeah, we just. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably here. Like. Yeah, back here. Being back there. I'm catching you right there. You're catching me right here. Yes. Oh, okay, so let me. Oh, watch out, um, Everton. Oh, then that's what I will look at. That's easy. It's the most memorable thing of the year. It's impossible to forget what you're trucking out. 2001. 2001. <laughs> okay, but nothing's ever going to be as good as a goofy movie. Nothing's well, more so. memorable in 2001 than the trucking out. A lot of Shrek talk at my house, of course. Uh, usually there's a lot of Shrek talk around me because I am a Shrek expert. Shrek 1 is okay. Shrek 2 is hilarious. Though. Yeah, this will happen. If you're ever on set, you know we'll talk about Shrek. Grant right here, of course, is adjusting light. As we can see that uh, um, he's manipulating the level and the angle, bouncing it off the walls, and uh, he's reducing the amount of light by putting a piece of paper in front of the light, which is called diffusion, which diffuses the light. You can see it right there behind his head, but it's it's a, it's a kind of a... Oh, here we go. Okay, um, roll audio. Where's Slate? There's Daniel with the slate coming in. Daniel's technically the second AC. Okay, um, Connor. 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 <clears throat> and I will say this. Uh, this is my actual bedroom. <laughs> and uh, this is the most amount of people uh, that have been in my bedroom while I, me and my wife. And my wife, Julianne, is in the bed. She's acting as Everly's mom. Uh, so... See my wife there okay, y'all sleeping. Ready, yeah. Okay. Action. Cut. That's good. I want to do it one more time. I want you to do this, okay? I'm going to do you real quick. Okay, you're going to say, Mom. Mom. Sorry. Mom. A little louder. Just like, like a little louder than you're saying it. Okay. <laughs> so, so do this. Like, you're like, whisper and then normal talk it. So, Mom. And then, and mom. Then, and then loud. Yeah. Can you say, Mom? Yeah, that one. Mom. And then shake her just a little more. Sorry. Mom, shake that's her just really going to wake me, right? She's gonna wake me. I'll make it. Can you unlock it for me, please? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like I have to do the please face. Yes. Running away. Okay. This is it. So it's a big room. Here. I do mom and then. Um, do I do what? the mom thing? Probably do the mom thing. And then she's not going to do um, it. Um, can we truck that light slightly so that we are uh, illuminating Beverly's face a bit? So to the left, to the right. And her saying that we're facing. Right. So it's all through it. Is that good? He wants a truck. Uh, I don't think we have any room to truck. I'm running away, but I can't open the door. Can you unlock it for me? Tripping on these, right? Um, How's her light? Okay. Is I just stepped on it. Yeah. I didn't know it was there. I know. Okay, so be there where you're going to talk to her. And stay there. We're going to make sure that your face is nice and lit up. Okay. And then um, we'll do the whole couplet. So she'll say mama, Looks mama. like we're making a lens swap here. Jason's going to release the, the lens from the camera. 
He's going to hand it to Marty. Marty is putting a lens cap on the back. And it looks like Marty's putting the new lens on the camera. <laughs> Looking for the red dot red, to line up. And taking the lens cap. All right, and they're handing it. Oh, there's my elbow again. Or maybe that was Grant's elbow. Just try to stay awake. Okay, I will try. Yeah, you'll actually actually with your mask is here. Oh my god. Not yet. We want to see. Can you stand by your mom so we want to? I, yeah, how was that, David? Your waffle bowl. <laughs> it's so hot in here, it's crazy. Yeah, this is the one that's around here. Yes, sir. I don't like how bright that background is. I gotta say, more of you will write scripts where I can just lay in the bed while you guys all walk around me. That'd be great. And uh, the best part is, I don't even know how much of me you're gonna see in the film. I could probably have been a pillow, but. How's that? That's really good. Much better. Huh. No, no, no. Are we ready to roll? Yes. What's the number? Uh, yeah. Um, four. Okay, show it to me. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Connor! Connor, can you turn your iPad softer? <laughs> Connor's my son, of course, watching the iPad. What's it sound like? Neighbors are playing something outside right now. How is that getting picked up? Yeah. I can't even hear it. I'll go something. Okay, remember, everybody, the camera's not there. Uh -huh. well, I don't know the number. Did anybody really make it? Are we rolling, camera? No, we're not. We need number. Audio's rolling. Speed. Nine dash two, take one. Set. Action. Mom. What is it, Kitty? I'm wondering what like what is it? Can you unlock it for me, please? Pat, the problem is, you did a great job with the with the line, yes, but your hair is in front of your face. Mm. So can we just like, we'll pull it back over here, right. like behind you like that? Right? Yep, is that all right? I want to pull it. I can put it So this right here, your, yeah, your hair here with the Yeah, that's right. And I was um, doing a I little bit quieter, right here so I just... And a <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna need a 50, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna ride the worm. I'm gonna ride the worm. Grant said it can be in the showcase. Grant said it's up for a gathering. How did Daddy make it? Ask him. How did it make We're talking about a, the animated. Dune 3 trailer that we made in our editing class as an example. Best animated, best director, no. best used, producer, uh, the editing best voiceover. You can see Grant is fixing the boom mic and we're running the wire so we get the least amount of uh, audio. Oh, here we go. Shout out to Marshmallow. This is my cat. I have three pets. Uh, we actually took our dog, uh, Lexi, away for the day because she likes to bark and would be too noisy. 
We move to our next location, which is here in the kitchen. So, looking back here is okay. This will be a focal point. You can see we're trying to black out the the light as much as possible. Scene four, shot one, right? Yes. Speed. Scene four, shot one, take one. Set. making a Sam <laughs> you know the thing is you film and uh, filmmaking is always fun it's like okay here's a here's a sandwich again behind your ear this one or yeah this one? The, this one yeah that one yeah and then behind your back too here can I do it just do that but behind my shoulder too yeah could you take your left foot step forward no uh, turn there we go okay there we go and then come towards me a little bit that's good <laughs> Just adjusting. It was a very long day, so she was a big tripper. Pull her this way more, especially since she doesn't have to be. I mean, we're all troopers for being on set for as long as we are, but when you have a child who normally doesn't do this. What's the battery? It is at 70 right now. And that's our last one, or we have one more after this? I am not sure. The last one is the pink. We have the big brick too, so. Okay. And I have two at home now that are fully charged. Oh, they're cool. Take you like two hours to get all these together. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. We, um. Why can't you just one whole one? Just that part. How many bites you want her to take of this, Miss Rotega? It's like the last bite. The last bite. So of one of these? Yeah, cut off the too. crusts. And then we, when you eat it, you can smile and be excited. But the last 
the last bite of the this uh, one of the sandwich? Yeah, that's all you have to eat. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, not we, yet, not yet, not yet. Yeah, wait till we um ready to roll. Well, it's coming though. It's coming. You're gonna get it. Can, um, Everly, can you pull your hair back like you did, um, especially on this side? Yeah. I really need it so it's, the honey doesn't stick to my hair. Yeah, too. Was really, that's not good having. And then can you come closer to me? Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> even a little bit more. Everly, we can wash it off after, sweetie, just like we do after you eat. I don't want to. I'm just saying. It's okay, yes, just no. Just eat like you normally would. Just eat like normal. Okay, is slate ready? Um, roll audio. Morty. Yeah. Rolling. Roll camera. <laughs> Looks oh. yummy too, doesn't it? Can I have a piece after you're done? Yes. <laughs> I'm glad that uh, it looks like <laughs> we might be past the part that I was nervous Sweet. about because four, um, two, take one. at one point I made Evie cry because I put peanut butter on her face. I didn't warn her with enough time and she went downstairs and cried but uh, really recovered and um, we made the uh, adjustment but that was my bad for not I just kind of smeared peanut butter on her face without warning her. And I was wondering if it was captured on behind the scenes, and it looks like it wasn't, so uh, good for me. <laughs> I think everyone did a really great job today and on this, this film set. Really fun opportunities uh, and really fun things to look at and take advantage of, so... We can see that low level light, Grant's shooting light up, bouncing it off the walls to give some level of light in the house. And that is kind of. I don't know where we're framing. It just has to be moved. Yeah. Uh, should we put a sandbag on it? Um, I think of them all being used outside. So we just have to put it someplace where someone will bump into it. So we're going to keep kind of that same angle here. She grabs a bag. So she's basically filling up a trash bag. So she puts this, this, and that. Then I want her to pull a couple things from the cupboard, a couple things from the fridge. And then she goes to the stove and gets the pan. And that's it. But, I, but so what I was saying is we do one here where she gets that. And then kind of over the shoulder over here, but he's saying that breaks down the room. He's right. I'm not sure how to achieve that. So one of the options is that we could just shoot it like that, and she goes to the pantry, just like right here, just pan over here. Um, you are going to get light, um, so it's very white right now. It looks like it's starting to turn yellow, um, but you could be able to color grade it to the blue of the highlights. So the biggest problem is the light. Maybe we can move some of the stuff, is what we're saying. Yeah. Um, So what, what we could do is that she possibly could be like a POV shot, she's looking at something, and then we could uh, change it. So it's a cutaway between her mm -hmm. talking, and so it reestablishes it. But um, if it's POV, it reestablishes it as if we move it? Yeah, so... Um, if she'd have to run off then. We do this first, she runs that way, which implies movement, and so then it's POV of the... No, no. So if we're gonna, if we want this right here, so she could be like turns around. We could have a POV shot over here, and then we could cut over there in the C. But we would have to talk to Grant or Tim or something like that before. But um, that should be reestablishing. So that I, I like that, that as a concept. Yeah, I'd like to see if they're if they have any advice on how to do. That. Jason's offering advice to Mr. Ortega, which is always helpful. Scene four, shot three, take three.
or sorry, take one. Set. Action. Go ahead and get the bag. You can see their little video village right here upstairs at my uh, kitchen table. Video village is the place on the set in the movie, uh, on a, a film set where uh, you can monitor uh, everything that's being shot. So the director usually sits in video village on a, a massive set and watches all the different angles and everything. This one we can do fast because you don't have the bag. We're uh, I'm doing the bag. Yeah. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> the bag is hard to carry. The bag is hard to carry. We can give everything to me. Everyone was very nice and, and kind to uh, everyone. It's like so fast. Right. Ready? Speed. Scene four, shot three A, take three. All right, we're wrapping Speed. up our Scene four, shot three A, take two. behind the scenes. You can see the final uh, BTS that was shot. As always, uh, if you set. can be on the set, Action. try to come at least one time. We have uh, a lot of fun. i got one more uh, BTS to catch up on. Um, but uh, remember, in order to get credit on uh, this, uh, if you weren't on set, okay. all right. <laughs> this BTS is interesting because this is actually going to be footage in the movie. Um, yeah, it, it, uh, that's closer. It's about right there, right there, right there. Okay. Roll audio. Rolling. Roll camera. Speed. Scene four, shot six. Take one. Close it. Close it. <laughs> Good. 
good. Let's try it one more time. Just close the fridge again. Okay. Let's try it again. Get up there. Reach, 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 reach. Okay. All right. Cut. Good job. Look like you were you were looking at the front. We're gonna look at it now. You gotta take the camera. I know. We tried taking it out of the fridge. And there you go. The camera's gonna burn.